On the Code Switch podcast, talking about race can be sad, infuriating, and even funny. Some police department did a land acknowledgement. Like, that's beyond parody in a way. Like, that's like an Onion headline. We're here to cry, scream, and laugh right along with you. Listen to the Code Switch podcast from NPR on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The Street Stoics podcast is back. We are combining hip-hop lyrics and quotes from some of the greatest to ever grace a microphone. It's a line from Lauren Hill, and she says, Don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem. Along with ancient wisdom from some of the greatest philosophers of all time. Seneca, right? And he says, Your mind will take shape of what you frequently hold in thought. For the human spirit is colored by such impression. Listen to season two of the Street Stoic Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Shannon Doherty, host of the new podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. So in this podcast, I'm going to be talking about marriage, divorce, my family, my career. I'm also going to be talking a lot about cancer, the ups and the downs, everything that I've learned from it. It's going to be a wild ride. So listen to Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey, this is Carlos Miller. Here at the 85 South Show, comedy is king. But we're also here to support and elevate black-owned businesses that are doing amazing things. On our show, The Black Market, I sit down with entrepreneurs who are changing the game in every field, like Sublime Donuts, Good Day Sense, Cafe Bourbon Street, and many more. So tune in to The Black Market, available in the 85 South Show feed. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. (laughs) We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one. Right there, right now. It could be yours. You never know. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, a strawberry letter. <laughs> Why, thank you, Tommy. Thank you. <laughs> Subject, she took away all my joy. Dear Stephen Shirley, I am having a major problem. My fiancé and I have been together for almost two years. She is 37 and I am 29. In the early stages, we used to throw down in the bedroom. I'm talking about doing it everywhere like five times a week and multiple sessions at a time to the point where we ended up with bruises or bite marks. Uh, Her hair could never stay done back then. But lately, I can barely get her to take care of my needs and her mood about sex has drastically changed. She rations it out to me now and it's not as exciting because she only likes to do it in one position now. I'm excited to get it, to get what I can get, but then she tells me when it's over whether I'm done or not. She usually gives me 10 minutes, but it's not hardly long enough, so I have to finish the job myself. But the worst part is that she only wants to be intimate on Sundays, which is my only day off, because I'm self-employed and I show houses every day except Sundays. She knows that I don't like to get out of bed, shower, or shave on that day. I typically lounge around, cook her dinner, relax and watch sports or a movie. She chose Sunday on purpose. This woman has cut me off from all of my supply and she wasn't even polite enough to wean me off. She just did it cold turkey. When I asked her why she switched up our sex life, she said I'm a horn dog and she doesn't want me to go into marriage thinking I can have it my way all the time because that's not how real life works. I'm wondering what she expected by getting with a guy my age. I love her, and she's a perfect woman for me, but I need the same sex from her that got me hooked. Is she really, is this really how marriage is? If so, is there anything I can do to change things? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you might have to move on, okay? You might have to move on. The crazy thing is that 
in this letter, you kind of both have a valid point. I mean, you are 29 years old. You've been spending your life lately just wishing every day was Sunday so you can have sex with your girl. And your fiance is introducing you to what she sees as real married life with, uh, you know, not sex five times a day, ending up with bruises and bite marks. Okay. Uh, that's the way she sees married life right now. And she's calling you a horn dog, all of that. Uh, I know at 29, you don't want to hear that, but the truth is a lot, if not most married couples do slow down on the sex after a while. That's where the term like date night came into play, you know, and that's why you hear married couples saying things like we need to put more spice into our life or we need more romance because, you know, sometimes when the honeymoon is over, the, uh, you know, the sex does dwindle in a marriage. Uh, I don't know if that's what she was talking about necessarily, but, um, you know, the sex in the marriage, just so you'll know, does kind of, you know, wane off from time to time. So while you might not want to hear that right now, your your fiance is wrong for cutting you off. She's really wrong for that. But um, she's right in what she said about marriage. What sucks about this is that you guys started out like porn stars. <laughs> I mean, all this sex five times a week, multiple sessions at a time, ending up with bruises and bite marks. Um, you know, and, and just to cut you off all of a sudden like that, that's the worst thing you could do to someone. So if, if you're paying attention now, if you're paying attention to her, I know you said you love her, sex and communication, because she didn't tell you anything. Uh, they're already pro problems before you even walk down the aisle. So I think you need to reassess your intentions here. This may not be the woman for you. It doesn't sound like she is. Steve? Get out, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't even gonna waste no time with this letter. Get out, dog. Listen to me. <laughs> if it's bad now, it's mm. only going to get worse. To the if man. she cut it off now, she's going to wrench it shut in a minute. The what? Wrench. She's gonna wrench it. What, Steve? She's going <laughs> to wrench it shut. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to get nowhere near it. Mm. You're going to be able to look at it. it. Mm -mm. You're going to touch it. Mm. Nope. You're yeah. going to get nowhere near it. Don't I'm telling you. So here's the deal. You're having a major problem. That's the opening line. Steve and Shirley, I'm having a major problem. If you're having a major problem now, when you get married, this will become an even more major problem. This is a disaster. Y'all been together for two years. She 37, I'm 29. In the early stages, we should throw down in the bedroom. I'm talking about everywhere, five times a week, multiple sessions at a time. Point where we ended up with bruises and bite marks. Now, hold up now, dog. What was your uh, bruises and bite marks? <laughs> Man, what the hell was your... They punching the little body. You they might have messed around wild. and just bit and <laughs> bruised yourself out of some love. <laughs> right. <laughs> her hair could never stay done back then, but lately I can barely get her to take care of my needs, and her mood about sex has drastically changed. Hey, Amen. And she's thirty-seven, hmm. and it didn't drastically change. You in trouble, man. She rashes it out to me now. It's not as exciting because she only likes to do it in one position now. And I'm excited for what I get, but when she tell me it's over, it's over. Ten minutes, whether I'm done or not, it's just ten minutes. You are, hey, 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 time. <laughs> Let's go, hey. Stop. Alarm goes off. <laughs> All right, hold I'll that thought, Steve. Yeah. We'll have part two of Steve's response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Uh, today's Strawberry Letter subject, she took away all my joy. We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. On the Code Switch podcast, talking about race can be sad, infuriating, and even funny. Some police department did a land acknowledgement. Like, that's beyond parody in a way. Like, that's like an Onion headline. We're here to cry, scream, and laugh right along with you. Listen to the Code Switch podcast from NPR on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? It's the realest storyteller ever, Fat Joe. 
check out my tell-all memoir, The Book of Jose. The audio book is legendary, available wherever audio books are sold. Check out this exclusive clip from The Book of Jose. But loyalty is at the core of TS. People have wondered how I got all these characters to gel into one unit. I think the key is that I treat every individual as special. But our shared dream was always about our unity. All for one and one for all. That's what it is. Terror Squad, as it's constituted today, is one large family. Everyone plays a part based on their own passions and expertise. But we share a collective goal to elevate our community. Are you looking to carve out your own spiritual path and connect with a higher power? Maybe you're on a quest for meaning, purpose, or a sense of belonging. Perhaps you grew up in a religion that doesn't quite align with who you are right now. Or maybe you've lost your connection to God and want to find your way back. Or if you're like a lot of people, you're simply trying to make sense of a world that sometimes seems overwhelming and confusing. Welcome to What's God Got to Do With It, a podcast with a fresh and relatable take on spirituality and faith. I'm your host, Leanne Ellington, and this podcast was designed to be a place where you can meet yourself exactly where you are on your own journey, without judgment or shame, and without worrying about whether you're doing it air quotes right. It's your spiritual safe space where skepticism and doubt are welcome. It's a place where faith meets science and miracles meet real life, all while inviting you into the conversation that your heart, soul, and spirit needs. Listen to What's God Got to Do With It on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey there, I'm Maya Shunker, and I'm a scientist who studies human behavior. Many of us have experienced a moment in our lives that changes everything. A moment that instantly divides our life into a before and an after. On my podcast, A Slight Change of Plans, I talk to people about how they've navigated exactly these moments. Something died in me that day. It never came back. I'm so grateful that something new did emerge. A new me emerged. A new me was born. I also talk to experts on the science of change, about how we can live happier, healthier lives. These momentary experiences of awe, they tend to, through their challenges to your belief system, help us be more resilient. Because as we all know, the only constant is change. So let's make the most of it. Listen to A Slight Change of Plans on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter subject. She took away all my joy. This is horrible, man. Yeah. It's over with. Like I said, dog, took away your joy. Your opening line is, I have a major problem. Yes, you do. And you're not even married yet. You used to have sex all the time. You 29, she 37. Y'all been together for two years. Early stages, you used to throw around in the bedroom all over the house five times a week, multiple times. She couldn't keep her hair done. You get to the point where y'all end up with bruises or, or, or bite marks. Her hair could never stay done. But lately, I can barely get her to take care of my needs. Her mood about sex has changed drastically. Mm-hmm. Well, now. She rashes it out to me now. It ain't exciting because she only like to do one position now. See, y'all been doing uh, bruises and bites. And that's all over the place. Now she down to one position. And she got 10 minutes. Done or not, 10 minutes. Time up. Let's go. Stop. <laughs> whistle, iPhone, alarm going off, everything. <laughs> I like the whistle, Steve. I like the whistle. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get up. Let's go. <laughs> now, it's not hardly long enough, so I have to finish the job myself. Damn, dog. You down to that. But the worst part is she only wants to be intimate on Sundays. Now, dog, she done broke it down. Ain't had nothing happening in the week. And now it's just on Sundays. Man, which is my only day off because I'm self-employed. I show houses every day except Sunday. She knows I don't like to get out of bed, shower, or shave on that day. I typically lounge around, cook her dinner, relax, and watch sports or a movie. She chose Sunday on purpose. Mm. This woman has cut me off from all my supply, and she wasn't even polite enough to wean me off. She just did it cold turkey. When I asked her why she switched up our sex life, she said, 
I'm a horn dog, and she don't want me to go into marriage thinking I can have it my way all the time because that's not how real life works. Well, that ain't what you said when we first met. Now you got a commitment talking about from this man. Now she talking about she don't want you to go into marriage thinking that you can get it any kind of way you want to. So now she's showing you, she's giving you a preview of a coming attraction. She's showing you what marriage is going to be like with her. You down to Sundays, dog, and 10 minutes on Sundays. Let me tell you something, bro. You ain't going to be happy like this. You know, I know you ain't because you ain't happy now. So, brother, all this is going to lead to is an, an affair. That's all this is going to lead to is an affair. That's all it is. And you're thinking about it now. Anytime a man write a letter about his woman, right. sexual things, he, it's on his mind. Now, he yeah. trying not to go there. Right now, the young brother trying not to go there. Because he says, you know, I love her. She's a perfect woman for me. Mm, don't seem like it. But I need the same sex from her that got me hooked. Is this really how marriage is? Uh, sometimes, dog. Now, marriage is going to change. It ain't going to be as frequent as it was. That's right. Because y'all in the house, and I'm telling you something else, some things going to come into play that's going to affect it. Bills, kids, mm -hmm. drama. Life. Life. It's in the way. Work, yeah. decisions, mm -hmm. sickness, all this here. Uh, so is there anything I can do to change that? No. Uh -uh, not really. <laughs> all you really do is just start liking 10 minutes once a week. <laughs> if you ain't gonna do that, if but, you can okay. fix your mind around this once a week, ten minutes, you might have a chance. What you want to know? Out of twenty nine, okay, this is what the I want to know. The tears gonna go down. If it's okay. ten now, it's definitely gonna get cut down. You're not gonna hold up the tears. Is it's there a yeah? Is there a happy medium? Is there a, a compromise? Because maybe he's just he too, won't mope. too wild for her. The bruising, like you said, and the bites and all of that. Okay. He won't mow. Yeah, he wants to She's more. saying he's a horn dog. Mm -hmm. She ain't finna do this no more. We did this for two years. He's too much. She not doing this no more. <laughs> so she done cut it down to where she can manage it. Uh -huh. Once yeah. a week, but she can 10 minutes it. a day. <laughs> yeah. Now, now we not finna You're do done. this with you. Uh -huh. No, no, we not doing it with you. I'm out. Yeah. Bye. He's too, he's too now, much. Now, she's the perfect woman for you, except she don't like sex. What? And you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How perfect is that, partner? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so what you're going to do is you're going to do what a lot of people do. I got this perfect thing over here, and I'm going to get this imperfect thing over there. Yeah. Because that's what you're going to do. You're 29. Y'all ain't y'all ain't going to church, so this ain't a moral issue. Because right, they're doing it on Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday is your off day for movies yeah. and laying around. You don't shower, shave, leave the bed. You cook. All this here on Sundays. You ain't going to church, so ain't no ain't no moral compass here. Mm -hmm. So it's all good, man. It's over with. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Steve says it's over with. She's not the woman for him. Nah, man. You ain't no way in hell. <laughs> I mean, well, ten minutes on Sunday. Hold up, man. <laughs> You know, but bruises and shit. bite marks, though. Showing on, okay, all right, I'll tell you what. I'll quit biting you. We want to do something else, though. We got to do something else. He's he trying to negotiate, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut back. Okay, I'll tell you what. No more damn biting. Okay. And the bruises? And, and we can stay on the bed where we ain't got to get bruised. But we uh -huh. can we can we get this position changed? I got four <laughs> ideas on this bed. Can we try them? <laughs> That's the only thing. But she she's not going to do it because she doesn't no. communicate. She's no, done. She not, she All right. No. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. Check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. On the Code Switch podcast, talking about race can be sad, infuriating, and even funny. Some police department did a land acknowledgement. Like, that's beyond parody in a way. Like, that's like an Onion headline. We're here to cry, scream, and laugh right along with you. Listen to the Code Switch podcast from NPR on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The Street Stoics Podcast is back. We are combining hip-hop lyrics and quotes from some of the greatest to ever grace a microphone. It's a line from Lauren Hill, and she says, don't be a hard rock when you really 
are a gem. Along with ancient wisdom from some of the greatest philosophers of all time. Seneca, right? And he says, your mind will take shape of what you frequently hold in thought. For the human spirit is colored by such impression. Listen to season two of the Street Stoic Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Shannon Doherty, host of the new podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty. So in this podcast, I'm going to be talking about marriage, divorce, my family, my career. I'm also going to be talking a lot about cancer, the ups and the downs, everything that I've learned from it. It's going to be a wild ride. So listen to Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey, this is Carlos Miller. Here at the 85 South Show, comedy is king. But we're also here to support and elevate black-owned businesses that are doing amazing things. On our show, The Black Market, I sit down with entrepreneurs who are changing the game in every field, like Sublime Donuts, Good Day Sense, Cafe Bourbon Street, and many more. So tune in to The Black Market, available in the 85 South Show feed. Listen on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Đi xuống dưới nhà đi nhanh lên đi tắm đi Đi quần áo Đi ném xuống dưới nhà xong tắm Đi xuống đi xong bố ném Đây à, không thấy nó đâu nhỉ? Không rõ ngàn Không rõ ngàn Không rõ Thank you. 